Alright, uh, what's up folks? Welcome back to the video on Forza Horizon 5. And we are back with another new vehicle showcase as part of Series 4. Now, for those who, who haven't seen my previous vehicle showcase, which I'll leave the video link in the description down below for those of you who haven't seen it. Uh, but we went and played around uh, with this thing. The Wuling Sunshine S. One of the best selling cars in China, which I did forget to mention in that video. Um, but yeah, this was what I think is to be the one of the weirdest additions into the game. Um, but but it does look cool with this white body kit and this initial D design on it, nevertheless. Um, but the car I'm about to show you um, in this video, it's not it's not weird. Actually, it's pretty cool. And it's this thing, the Mazda three two three GTR. Now, as you can probably tell already, um, this is a... Uh, okay, good, there we go. Um, this is one of the new car pass cars uh, for this week. And we're going to go ahead and do exactly the same things we did before. Um, we're going to go ahead and play around with stock. Um, do a race, and then we'll do upgrades, and then we'll do another one after. Now, this... This, I feel like it's a competitor in some sort of way. You may be thinking, well, what the fuck do you mean by that? Well, there is another car in this game, which is called the Nissan Pulsar GTIR. Um, which, 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 if you don't, if you don't know what that is, if you don't know what that is, I'll put a picture up on, up on screen. Um, but the reason why I feel like that's a bit of a competitor is because, well, it's due to its body shape. Um, I feel it's, I feel it's uh, personally for me, um, it's very similar size. But yeah, here it is, folks. Oh, it's stock. Um, it it does it, it, it does sound pretty cool. Uh, or, or, or actually, I guess it, I guess it sounds pretty standard, but uh, but nevertheless, it, it sounds cool. And I'll look at the interior mode again. Again, pretty uh, pretty standard stuff. Now, usually, usually when I do these races, it will, it will mostly be on road races. Well. This one will sort of be um, a on-road race, but it's going mostly on dirt. And well, I personally think the reason why it's got the, it, it's got these muff ups on the bottom. Uh, but only that, it's 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 apparently uh, four wheel. Um, it's all wheel drive, which I have to be, be sure. Uh, yep, this is all wheel drive as well, which I think this is going to be a uh, pretty awesome rally beast. All right, so we're we'll doing a dirt scramble first. See how this performs uh, off road, because from what it looks, this is going to be a nice little rally beast here. And now, remember what I said before about this being a bit of direct competitor. Oh, well, for me, well, for me personally, being a direct competitor to the um, Nissan Pulsar GTIR due to its body shape. Well, if we look at it side by side, which, which looks to be pretty perfect, it's pretty similar. It's pretty similar, uh, although the three two three, I think I think it looks slightly longer. Uh, but again, it, it but again, um, it, it it does look pretty similar in terms of size. So there, this car is it looks to be slightly slightly longer. Uh, almost, but obviously, it, it, it's a bit hard to tell due to the fact that we're moving, we're actually driving around. Uh, it probably be a lot easier if we actually got another player to be in it and then we stopped and played us side by side. Um, so I thought I may as well just showcase that, in case you guys were a little bit confusing. Oh, wh why do you think it's a bit, why do you think it's a bit of a, bit of a competitor? Alright, so here we go. I'm currently in fifth. Not too bad at the moment. Um, obviously it shouldn't take too long to get up to first place. Passing an escort here. And we've got a Celica, uh, looks like we've got two Celicas up here. And the Renault 5 Turbo. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, I can definitely see this as a nice little rally beast here. Um, the engine, the engine sounds awesome. Uh, although, although I think it's pretty standard, but even still, um, it, it looks nice. It performs nicely, especially off road. Uh, like I mentioned before, I'm probably going to be building this into a nice rally beast. Uh, given the fact that this is all-wheel drive, which is uh, a very big perk for me. Uh, and the fact it has buff flaps uh, on it, which you can probably tell 
if you if you look close if you look close enough. Um, so so it, well for me it makes sense to make this into a rally car. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go let this race play through. Uh, cause cause the rest of the race is gonna be a bit boring. Um, so I'll as well cut to you guys after we um make it to, make it to the finish line. Alright, so we're, we're just about to complete the race, and um, yeah, it, it performed really nicely, uh, it sound, sounded really good as well, and uh, there we go, we've got our first first win, uh, and like I mentioned before, we're going to go ahead and do some upgrades to this, um, see, see what we can do to this um, little rally machine, and then we'll do another race afterwards, probably, probably cross country to actually change this up a little bit. Alright, so currently, there you go, the engine noise there, um, so currently this car has just over 200 horsepower, um, but we'll see what we can do to this thing. Alright, <laughs> so for me, it makes sense to put this um, turbo rally kit, turbo rally um, engine on it, or, yeah, put the classic four rotor in there. <laughs> I definitely won't be turning this into a Formula 1 car, so that'll be out of the question. Uh, but what else we got here? We actually got some fuel upgrades here. Oh, we actually put... Oh, we actually put a bit of fuel off my flat at the back. Awesome, okay. What can we do to here? Okay, just a little risk at the top. Um, yeah, I'll leave it stock, it's fine. Um, right. Since I'm going to make this into a rally beast, I may as well put... The rally tire compound, and from here most of it's going to be pretty much exactly, exactly the same as what we did for the previous two. Well, actually, well, technically it's the previous one since the new EP9 there wasn't much customization you can do. So yeah, I decided to go with these rims uh, here. Obviously, um, if I need to come back and change them later, I'll definitely will. But for now, I'll leave it, I'll leave it as this. Now I did forget to I, I did forget to mention also that while the car looks good and performs nicely. Personally, there's one con to this, and if you can probably tell already, it's the back plate, not the black hat plate, but the one, but the back plate holder behind it. Um, it sticks out, which I, which I understand because um, from the shape, it obviously, um, it's obviously going to represent the um, Japanese number plates. So yeah, I don't, I don't like that back plate holder sticking out from the back plate. The horizon, uh, the horizon plate. It just looks a little bit weird, but obviously I don't, I don't mind. Um, but it, it, but it, but it's just something to just keep in note or keep in mind. Um, so besides that one little con, um, I quite like this. Uh, so far. So I'll put those on, and you know, let's see if we can go. There we go. S1868 and see what's the final. Oh, nice. All right. So it went from just over 200 horsepower to just being shy of 700 horsepower. Which is nice. All right. So here's what the car looks like after the designer. Um, now, I did actually go back and decide to change the rims um, to the ones to the ones you see right now um, to kind of blend in with the design. It looks nice. It definitely it, it's it's a nice uh, quick little rally beast. This thing. Uh, but let's see if we can put it put it to the test by doing cross country race. And well, funnily enough, there's actually a cross country race just, just down the road from the Horizon Horizon Wilds. So we're gonna go ahead and try this out. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and see how it goes. Here we go. We're doing the uh, one of the Baja Baja races here. We just started here. And it's quick, as you expect. Oh, and we'll go. Oh, <laughs> jumped over a Subaru Pretzel. Oh, okay, let's just slow down here. Here we go. This will be safe here. Um, so most of the lineup is in Pretzels, Celicas, and I think a few um, Audi Quattro's as well. 
Oh, uh, and oh, there we go. We got Racer Puma there as well. Um, but yeah, this definitely performs really nice. Here we go. Just about to pass the Lancer. Say, 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 bye, bye, Lancer. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm currently in the lead. Oh, jeez, that guy nearly over. The guy nearly overtook me again. Uh, but from here, hopefully, it's nice, smooth sailing. Uh, that's obviously not too far, not too far behind. Oh, bit of a rally, little rally bounce there. Yep, there we go. The Lancer's not too, not too far behind. And there we go. Nice, nice win. Nice, easy win. To finish off, to finish off the, to finish off the video. So. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this car. Uh, it looks nice, especially with this uh, nice paint job I got on it. Um, it performs nicely. Uh, definitely worth it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. If you guys did enjoy it, smash the like button. And if you want, if you want to see more Forza Horizon Five content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe. Obviously, this wasn't the best video in the world, um, but had to get it done. Um, and yeah, make sure to turn on channel, channel notifications so you don't miss out on any uh, pieces of Forza Horizon 5 content like this in the future. Anyways, hope you, hope you all enjoyed it, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Peace out, folks.